Hey there kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math, grade five, module four, lesson five, homework. And uh, the objective is at the bottom of the page as per the usual, solve word problems involving the division of whole numbers with answers in the form of fractions or whole numbers. So we're gonna continue with this, understand fractions as division. Um, basically, we need to figure out when reading a word problem, where do the numbers go? Uh, what is the dividend? What is the divisor? What is the whole? What is what is it being split uh, into even parts by? Um, so let's jump in, and you're going to love these word problems. They are really not that hard. Do not be afraid. Actually, you should already have done your homework, and now we're just checking it. So, when someone donated 14 gallons of paint to Rosendale Elementary School, the fifth grade decided to use it to paint murals. They split the gallons equally. That right there says division. Split equally. Among the four classes, notice that we have a number in word form. That's why you practice things in word form. You have to get used to finding them in word problems. How much paint did each class have to paint their mural? So what do we have? All the gallons, all the paint. That is the total. It is 14 gallons. You could, you can solve this in any way you want. You can make a big tape diagram. You can call this your total. Okay, we're splitting it into the four classes. You could make a tape diagram that's in four parts, but you don't have to if you know that 14 is the whole, the dividend that is being divided. So what is it being divided by? It's being divided by the four classes. Okay, so it's a 14 divided by four. And we know that when we make a fraction out of this, 14 divided by four could look like that, which then can be translated into a mixed number. And so if you simply divide 14 by four, you would get three because three times four is 12. You wanna get as close to without going over. So we get the 12 and 12 to 14, that's a difference of two. That's your numerator and your denominator is simply your denominator that you had before. It's like a label, I'm always calling it a label. So three and two fourths could be simplified into three and a half and then label it because that's going to be how much paint each class has. It's three and a half gallons per class. And that's all there is. Uh, you can put your three and a halfs here if you want, uh, but you don't have to. Your teacher will be so impressed if you do because that's just showing that all those three and a halfs add up to 14. That's what tape diagrams are. It's a part to whole relationship. Continuing with that, how much paint will three classes use? Show your thinking using words, numbers, or pictures. Now you can take these three. We have done uh, the use repeated addition instead of multiplication. So you can take your three and a half because it's, it's three times three and a half. Okay, that's what we're doing here. But we can't do that yet. Let's pretend that we don't know how to do that. And then we can do repeated addition to solve. Three, six, nine, that's your whole numbers. One half plus one half plus one half makes three halves. Okay, straighten this one out into a, a mixed number. So don't forget the nine. A lot of students will forget about the nine. Three divided by two is one and one half. And then you have 10 and one half. That would be for three classes. Gallons for three classes. Okay, so hopefully you got that right. Always think about, does this make sense? My number for three classes should be kind of close to, but less than 14. So I'm in the right area. Um, part C, if four students share a 30 square foot wall equally, how many square feet of the wall will be painted by each student? So it's 30 square feet, that's the whole square feet. That's the whole amount that is being divided by four students. So again, it's the whole being divided by the number of parts, which sets you up with this 
expression 30 divided by 4, 30 divided by 4, get a mixed number. It's a simple division. 4 times what? Is as close to 30 without going over? 7. Know your facts. 7 times 4 is 28. That leaves 2 left over out of 4. You can always simplify into 7 and a half, and that would be the square feet. per student. And always circle your answer so that your teacher can find it. Now this last question, I am a classic overthinker. I would try to find some numbers and uh, put them in there, but this is simply take the wall. Okay, this is the wall. What fraction of the wall will each student paint? If they are sharing the wall equally between four students, that is this type of question. And there's really no calculation necessary. Each student gets one fourth of the wall. Four kids, they're sharing it equally. Each student gets one fourth. And so it's kind of a non-question question. Next page. Craig bought a three foot long baguette and then made four equally sized sandwiches. Watch out when you have different measurements. What portion of the baguette was used for each sandwich? This is just like the one we just did. What portion uh, was used? Draw a visual model to help you solve. So you have to have your tape diagram here. If you have your three foot baguette and it's divided into the four sandwiches of the same length, then it's just three feet total divided into the four pieces. And what is the portion of the baguette used for each sandwich? It's still one fourth of the baguette. Okay, for each sandwich per person or person or sandwich. Sand. How long in feet, here you go, uh, is one of Craig's sandwiches? So you want to take your three feet, which is your total, and that is going to be divided by the four sandwiches. So it's three feet divided by four. Three divided by four. Three divided by four. Read it top to bottom. So in feet, one of his sandwiches is three-fourths of a foot long. Because remember, it can't be one foot. If we had one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot, we'd have four feet, but that's not right. So it has to make sense to be less than one so that when you add these all up, you will get the three, okay? So three-fourths foot per sandwich. And then how many inches long is one of Craig's sandwiches? Now we have to start paying attention to the dimensions here. So if we have our full amount at three feet, if you, you can look at three feet and say, okay, how many inches is that? Well, do you know that one foot is 12 inches? Three feet would be how many? 12 times 3, 36 inches. I don't really need the whole thing because I'm only interested in this part. So I need this amount, 3 fourths of a foot, in inches. So if I know that one foot is 12 inches, then I need to divide 12 into the four parts. Okay, so 12 divided into the four parts would be 3 inches per part. And then one sandwich would be uh, three inches. So if I have um, the sandwiches, oops, sorry, I think I'm doing uh, the three inches per part, but that's only for one foot. And this is out of the three feet. So it's going to be times three because, whoop, right there, it's three fourths of a foot three inches per part of the 12, one foot, 12 inches 
3, 6, 9, 12. That is probably more clear for you so that you can see all the little inch parts. 3 inches per part of the 1 foot. And then I need the full sandwich, which is 9 inches. Okay? So one of his sandwiches is 9 inches. So make sure you know if you're talking about parts of the foot as opposed to a part of the uh, 36 inches of the baguette. So one sandwich is nine inches. Okay, sorry if I was not clear on that one. Okay, so you take your one foot, divide it into the four parts, three inches per part, put the three inches together in the three sections because it's three fourths of a foot and that's where you get your nine inches. Okay, hope that's clear. And finally, uh, Scott has six days to save enough money for a $45 concert ticket, six days. If he saves the same amount each day, that's again division, look for the words, same amount each day. What is the minimum amount he must save each day in order to reach his goal? Express your answer in dollars. So we know that the, the price of the concert ticket is not gonna change, that's your whole. And we have six days to do this. Make that tape diagram, divide it into half, and then put three sections on each half because these are the days. Each block is a day. So if I have my 45 divided by six, then I have 45 sixths, which is just a simple division problem, fractions as division. And you have to know your facts because Six times the missing number is going to get you as close to 45 as possible without going over. That's going to be 7. 6 times 7 is 42 with 3 left over. So it's going to be 7 and a half. You can do 7 and 3, 6, 7 and a half. But what does that mean in terms of money? So it's $45. So what is a half of a dollar? That is 50 cents. And so that's going to be the number that is required uh, to be saved each day. The minimum amount that um, Scott has to save each day is $7.50 in order to reach his goal. You, if you say seven, if you leave it just with the whole number, he will not save enough. And you could always bump it up, but that's not what the question is asking. The minimum amount is exactly $7.50 per day. And that is today's homework. So I hope this was helpful. Nice short video, really nice word problems. Click subscribe, come back again, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.